Right here, lads. In the latest round of Arsenal being linked with players that no one's ever heard about before, uh, we find ourselves at uh, Alexis Claude Maurice, who's been linked with a £20 million switch to the mighty Arsenal. So, with that being said, Alexis Claude Maurice, let's talk. <coughs> Right then, lads. Where was I? Oh yeah, Alex. <coughs> Let's just call him Claude Maurice for now. Fucking dog shagger. Yo, what's on, guys? My name is Fast Fourteen, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be discussing and giving you my thoughts on Arsenal's potential twenty million pound move for Alexis Claude Maurice. But with that being said. Who exactly is he? Claude Maurice is a winger slash striker who plays for French side Lorient who are in the Spanish Spanish in the French Championship and uh, let's just say Arsenal and Lorient have a, a bit of a good connection you know uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah it, it's been decent nonetheless though Claude Maurice is a 21 year old player who is as I said a striker slash winger he is French so he's automatically good at football hang on saying that we did sign Yaya Sonogo and he was also French. He is coming off a very good season in Ligue 2. He scored 14 goals for Lorient in around 30 appearances, which is, for a 21-year-old, it's not bad at all. Again, also, he's not the main striker for Lorient, so saying that not being the main striker, being a winger, scoring 14 goals, again, is pretty decent. But then again, this is the French Championship, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's not really the highest level. Saying that, though, what type of player is Alexis Claude Maurice? Hold it right there. Before I do get into that part, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you very much for four fucking thousand subscribers, lads. We have made it. No, we haven't. But yeah, comment below also your thoughts on Claude Maurice. What do you take about Arsenal? Is he worth 20 million pounds? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, what type of player is Alexis Claude Maurice? Claude Maurice is a skillful player who's full of pace and can dribble. As I did say, he's French, so he's always dramatically basically good at football. He's also a very young player, 21 year old, so he's also got a lot of potential. Plays for Lorient, a club that has produced quite a few players for Arsenal, as I said, Kashani and Gunduzi. Two players that have come to Arsenal. Gunduzi is a player who came last year. No one knew of him. We just looked at him and said that guy definitely had headlights. And now he's come to Arsenal and he's turned out to be a well. Beater. Also, being a young player, it does mean you have a lack of fear, I'd say. Guendouzi came to the league at the start of the year, straight away against Man City. I know Arsenal lost that game, but Guendouzi himself did nothing bad to himself. He played very good, in fact. So I do feel Arsenal signing a younger player is uh, almost removing the fear from the current team. Like, you look at Alex Wilber, for example. When he came through at Arsenal initially, he was lighting up, playing past right. players, doing nutmegs, all that. And as his time's progressed and as he's become more used to the first team, he's actually become a bit more scared. He's more scared to take players on. He passed the sliders a lot more, so... Yeah, fear young players, they don't have it. And also, pace. Claude Maurice has a lot of pace. And pace for me is very important. If you look at big teams like Liverpool and Man City, they have pace straight away. And it, pace is a thing where it just naturally just scares you. If you're a defender and you've got a guy who's this fantastically technical player, but he doesn't have pace, you really can you can predict what he's doing. Like Harry Kane, for example, recently been found out against better defenders that have pace. But then if you have a player who has pace and has a technique, boy, you could be in trouble. I mean, think of just Arsenal recently with first players that have pace and they just rip us apart. So imagine Arsenal have pace. Right now, Arsenal, we play football at walking speed. So if we had players that actually have speed, we could actually be much more clinical and much more ruthless and scare teams of anything. We've lost that pace since you know the likes of Theo Walker which yeah Arsenal fans hate Theo Walker but let's get it straight even asked Pep Guardiola he said it before when Arsenal played Barcelona's prime side with Xavi, Iniesta and Busquets and Messi he said Theo Walker is the one player that Barcelona needs to look at uh, because he's got speed and pace. pace is just one thing that just just to scare you it's something that you can't control and if a man gets at you and he's running at you with speed it's always going to be difficult and finally as I said he is French so I am just saying he is the next year on Rick or Yaya Sonoko we never know nonetheless though why do Arsenal need him as I did say before, fear. Pace brings fear. Potential brings fear. Dribbling brings fear. And Arsenal for a long time have lacked that fear of a player who can take on players, take on players' pace as well, and just knock it past the guy and just let run in behind. We don't have that anymore. When Aubameyang, yeah, teams get scared and they drop off deeper, but it's just one player for Arsenal. We all know, take Aubameyang out of the Arsenal team, and that Arsenal team is playing football at fucking grandma speed. We don't have any speed. So literally just adding a younger player who's going to add more dynamism to Arsenal, more pace to us, and bring us more skill will bring back the fear factor at Arsenal hopefully also by being so young he also has potential so that is something that Arsenal could use maybe for sell on value in the future when it comes to the point where he might get to a messy level well, he's not going to get to that level but if he does Arsenal can then go and say okay do you know what yeah let's sell this guy on and bring back players that can maybe benefit the team straight away like look how Liverpool they bought Coutinho for 10 million pounds and then sold him for 100 million pounds and then bought Van Dijk and Allison. so it helped the team out in general and they got rid of a player who yeah it was useful to them but he obviously wasn't their main thing so Arsenal could use Claude Maurice in a 
few years time and have him as an asset really and sell him on for value i'm not saying we're the next Borussia Dortmund but it's not a bad thing now is it we also do need wingers in general because we have literally no wingers whatsoever don't tell me that Henrik Mkhitaryan and Alex Obi are wingers because I'm gonna fucking punch you in the head they're not wingers and uh yeah also he would uh be the replacement maybe for man like dog shutter. sorry lads still not over it finally is he worth 20 million pounds um yes and uh, no, I don't really know. When I look at the price that Arsenal may be paying for Claude Maurice, there are already two parts of me. But Army goes, yes, of course, he's a young player who's got potential sell on value in the future. Um, I mean, look what Arsenal got me thinking. They got me thinking like a fucking accountant. But then again, as I said, potential sell on value, he'll bring us fear, he'll bring us pace, all that stuff. I say, why the fuck not? But the other part of me just think that why are we paying 20 million pounds, which if you believe the papers, for example, that would be half of our transfer value just gone there, a youngster that no one really heard of before. Why are we gonna go and spend 20 million pounds on him when we can maybe go and buy a centre back for a similar amount or buy someone else or a player that we need more like a centre back a midfielder a left back is a winger a massive massive need yes maybe but then again goal scoring is not a massive problem I think the massive problem for Arsenal is defending so there is that part of me as well again salon value why am I saying that? I'm not a fucking accountant. I don't know. But overall, I would say I am favouring towards the side of, yes, I think we should sign him. Why not? But then again, there's also a lot of negatives with the signing and maybe potential downside. So it's a bit of a sticky one still. But you never know. Last year, we signed a young Frenchman who had uh, long hair, who we all thought probably had head lice, and he turned out to be half decent. So you never right know. But then again, we also signed uh, this one from uh, the uh, French Championship. And uh, look how he turned out. The story of Arsenal Football Club. Fucking shambles. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, comment below your thoughts on the video. Comment below your thoughts on Claude Maurice. Would you take him at Arsenal? Let me know in the comments. If not Claude Maurice, who else should Arsenal go and spend £20 million on? Let me know in the comments. Comment below hashtag Team14 for a shout out next video saying that. Shout out to you, man. Make sure to follow my social media. Links will be in the description. As always, much appreciated. And with that being said, guys, my name is Seen, and Arsenal may just be signing yet another Alexis. Let's just hope he's not another dog shagger. Bye-bye.